Hello everybody, so if you didn't see, I am in New York and today I thought what we'd do is we would get recommendations off of the people who know places best, you guys, and I'm going to be doing a full day of your recommendations. So we're starting off this morning by going to breakfast at Balthazar. I've actually had very mixed reviews, but when I tell you, when I asked on Instagram, you literally all said Balthazar, but then a few people were like, don't go to Balthazar. So I thought, hey. Well, let's test it, see if it's good or not, because it had such a mixed bag. So we're gonna start off going there, and then we'll take you on the rest of the journey. But we're here, we're in New York, we're gonna be doing your recommendations. Little outfit of the day for all of y'all. We got the Converse, of course, but the, the 70s, they are the key in parchment. We got Lucy and Yak high-waisted trousers, Uniqlo jumper, thermals, of course, and hat from Primark. Let's go. Won't lie, we just had the trickiest start to the morning, and there might have been a tear or two. That's it. We're on the metro now, and we're gonna go get some food. I think that doesn't help. I'm starving. No, that doesn't help. You need a bit of fuel. fuel. We are severely late for our booking, so I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get in there. Um, but we can try, so we are going to go we're gonna and be like, so a little British girl just didn't know how to use the metro. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Here we are. <laughs> Balthazar. We are here. Mum has gone for the avocado and tomato salsa and I've gone for French brioche waffles. I am thoroughly enjoying the French toast. Mm -hmm. This is really nice. This is really good. It's really good. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we've just come out of Balthazar. Now, the food was really, really good. Really good, actually, like that. I've never had French toast before, but that was phenomenal. I'm very full. Um, portion size, very generous. It was really good. However, the service was but not so good. Our table wasn't too bad. I yeah, our personal waitress was good. I think they good. were cross with us because we were late. No, they weren't cross with they us. us oh, we've got someone painting. How fun. And now, so everyone suggested to go shopping around Soho. But it's, oh, it doesn't open to 11. Oh, we're gonna... oh heck. We're just gonna be walking around for a hot minute. Um, so we need to find, I really want to go to Aritzia. That's like my absolute must have. Um, but it's around there. So should we go and see if it's open? Yeah. Hello. Okay, so it turns out all the shops don't open to 11. It's just been one of those days, but we're keeping it real. Um, so we're rerouting. We're actually going to do Central Park this afternoon. We're actually going to do it now and then come back for shopping. Concrete jungle wet dream tomato! Um, looks so... <laughs> it looks so magnificent. Horsey horsies! Wow, it's like a film. It literally looks... <gasps> The lake is frozen. Oh my gosh, this is literally a dream come true. What the actual heck? This is incredible. It's beautiful. Like the building's poking through. Mum, we're gonna slip. Oh my gosh. No, we've got this. I believe in us. <laughs> we're both two of the clumsiest people that you will ever meet. Hey, no. <laughs> you know that's true. I'm a clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> she says that she grips to my arm. My shoes haven't got enough. I've got Converse. <laughs> I've got no <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Just slide it. This is so cute. The little duckies are walking on the ice. Can you see? Oh, that's beautiful with the bridge. Are you joking? Look at them. So sweet. Honestly, it's so cool. What the heck? These little ducks are so cute, just walking on the ice. Oh, they're making a real ruckus. They're making a real ruckus. Thing is, these ducks look so British, yet here I am taking a video of a duck that you could just find in a British pond. 
Oh, <gasps> wow, look at the ice formation. No, it's not actually. There's something underneath. Oh, is it wire? <laughs> Whoops. Guys, look at the little robin. I don't know if you can see it. Why are we just obsessed with birds today? What's that about? Can you see the little robin? Can you see him? It's a little robin. They told us about this building. No. It's been the thinnest building and all the problems, and lots of problems about it. Really? That's the plaza. If you've watched Bridesmaids. Which one? The plaza, that's the plaza. Well, we were going to go for... We were going to go there for afternoon tea. But we're not, but we were. I just can't get over how gorgeous it is. It's so flipping pretty. And also the lighting, the weather, the fact it's not super cold yet there's still snow out. It's wonderful. I love it. I love it. Bit of a change of tune from this morning, honestly. Everything possible went wrong this morning. Um, but hey, just keeping it realistic. Look at the ice ring. Oh, the ice ring. Let's go and see. Spy on the little ice rinkers. Is that the one that's always in films? Um, in Maiden. What's the one? Is it Maiden? Ma not Maiden Made in Manhattan. Sleeps in Seattle. Well, it wouldn't be Sleeps in no, Seattle. It's not Sleeps in Seattle. Do you know the one I mean? No, I don't. She like meets him on an ice skating rink at the end. Yeah. What is that film? <laughs> Hello. It's an American squirrel! Do you remember last time we came, Jesse thought he saw a black one? He was really happy. Hey little guy! So we've done Central Park and now we're gonna go for a little walk slash shop, see if there's any shoppies. Um, but I will just say, hello? <laughs> Should we go in Dwayne Reed? No, we'll do that at the end. Whatever luggage we have left, I'm filling it with sweets. I'm taking it back. Absolutely, mum, come on. Oh. Absolutely. Okay, next up on the list is MoMA. And we didn't actually come to MoMA last time, so this would be very fun to see um, what's occurring. We love the gallery here. Right opposite the MoMA, or is it MoMA? I don't know how you pronounce it, but MoMA, M-O-M-A. <laughs> um, there's their design shop, and it has such cool bits in it. This alone is worth a visit, um, and they had so many fun things in it. Obviously, always have to look at a jelly cat when I'm out and about, and it's a little New York lemon jelly cat. So flipping cute. But there were so many bits in here that I had to restrain from buying, not because... I didn't want to buy them, but because I didn't have room in my suitcase. Like, even this pan, beautiful. Like, so many cool bits and bobs. This little bowl, the toast coasters, so many things I wanted to buy. We are in the moment now. Mama, mama. <laughs> um, and we're going to go to the cafe first because I'm, I'm beginning to lie. I need it. Oh, it's closed. Oh, no. I wish that they did this in England. Go on, take his little hat off. A little straw cap. Take his hat off. There we go. Fantastic. We've come for a little drinky poos in MoMA. At MoMA. Just watching out over everything. I have my cookie, which I saved from Panera Bread yesterday. For a little, a little snack. Then we browsed some of the art, but I won't lie. It wasn't my favourite museum slash gallery that I've ever been to. I didn't love it. Um, I much preferred the Met which I think is going to be in the next vlog. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Let's go and get some bagels. This girl needs um, a bagel. Okay, everyone, we're on the way to go and get some bagels. And it's at the Rockefeller Centre. So we're going to do some shopping as well. Because we actually haven't even touched the shops yet, have we, Mum? I think we've been quite busy. We've been quite full on. Um, but yeah, we wouldn't recommend the MoMA at the moment. Yeah, you just have to pick your exhibitions, I think. Yeah, it was not a good one. Magnolia Bakery. Oh my goodness. <gasps> wow. We will go in there later. What is this little guy? I want that massive thing of nerds. That, yeah, I just, I just want it because I love it. Things in giant and things in miniature lure me in. Oh, well, it's a, a flavour that you like. Great. And strawberry. But that would be the whole of my suitcase. Dang it. Then we got to the Rockefeller Center and we went to the place that was highly recommended to me on Instagram, which is Black Seed Bagel. Um, and we had a little browse around. We just ordered our bagels and they'll come through there. And let me just say, really nice star and really lovely nice. service. Yeah, really, really, nice really lovely. Take your so, time, they weren't trying to rush Yeah, they weren't you. trying to, because I think the other bagel place that everyone recommended, they said it's a really stressful experience. Oh. Did you go to it, Cat's Deli? No, I went to the one that was on the film when Harry met Sally. Yeah, that's it. Oh, is that it? I think, yeah. Oh, and it was, was stressful. So stressful. Yeah, and I'm not about it was the stress. Absolutely rammed. Not a bit of me. Stress. And it was just stressful. Whereas this was pleasant. This is the smallest escalator. 
we've one. ever seen, isn't it? It is chilly, tiny. And we've got the goods, we've got the bagels. It's taken us about 10 years to get out. Oh, there's a bench. Yeah, Perfect. Bench. Right, the bagels are out. Look how much salmon they have packed in mum's bagel. Lovely. Let's see what we've got here. I've gone for the Reuben pastrami. Oh no, that's not right. That's not Reuben. That's a cream oh, cheese. <laughs> You're joking. Go back and something. Oh does no. Do you want to so far? Oh gosh, I'm going to get copyright and everything. Everything's gone wrong. But we have the Reuben. We went and got it. Let's see. I thought that felt really thin. I said that, didn't yeah. I? Okay. Right, let's see. Oh yes, that's better. Absolutely delicious. Oh, we have our bagel, it looks very ominous. And now we are gonna go and do a little bit of shopping. There was a shop that we went in last time that had really good like gifty bits. So we're gonna go in there and see what they have. That's really nice. My little finger. <laughs> We have done a spot of shopping and now we are going to Magnolia Bakery because everyone said I should try the banana pudding. So that's what we're going to do. Look at that. Radio, no, NBC. I don't know why this is so funny to me. All the pigeons. Why? <laughs> <sighs> We need a little pit stop. It is about four o'clock and we haven't really sat down because even when we had our bagels, we just found a little bench. So we went to Magnolia Bakery. I've got a little mid-afternoon snack. We're gonna, my phone isn't working, so I have to use my Wi-Fi for everything. So that's quite a stressful element. Um, but we're gonna have a little breather, recoup, not take a nap, as tempting as it is. We are not gonna mess up our jet lag. Uh-uh, it's not happening. Not happening. Okay guys, this is Magnolia Bakery. So there's, there's even a separate till for the banana pudding because it is that world renowned. I did want to get a cupcake, didn't I mum? I was very yeah. tempted to buy a cupcake, yeah. but I thought we'll keep it low key and we'll go for the banana pudding. So here it is. Okay, let's do a little banana pudding uh, taste test. Here it is. I have no idea what it looks like. I don't even know. I don't really know what it is. In my head, I'm really worried that it's like rice pudding because I hate rice pudding. Oh, you know, I feel like it's like a trifle. Or is it ice cream? No, you have like sponge cream. This is just so interesting. Not what I thought it would be. I don't know. I've just... Is this their biggest hit? Yeah, and what film is it from? Is it from Sex and the City? I don't actually know. Try and get everything on our, our spoon. Why is this so good? I don't know, but let's give it a go. It's not a film, is it? It's actually good. Is it? Do you know what I think it is? What? It's nostalgic of childhood. You know, like when you were younger and you'd give you, you'd have banana and like yogurt and stuff. Is it yogurty then? No, it's like creamy, cakey, banana. Not cake. too sweet, but also it's really sweet. It is good. I wouldn't say it's like <gasps> I must queue for that, but luckily there wasn't a queue. I'd be annoyed if I queued for this. It's nice, it comes in a little tub though, and they just have it there for you. Mm. I know that sounds weird, but most of it is a cake or ice cream, so you have to eat it, eat it all then. Yeah. Oh, it is good though. Mm. What the doctor ordered. Mm. Oh, it is good. We're on that fuel, the red light fuel is on. Yeah, we're on the, the blinkers. We're on the, are they going to make it to the petrol garage or not? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we've got to push through. Um, we potentially might have an issue with our next activity. Um, but we're just gonna pray and hope. I've done a boo boo, that's all I'll say for now. And then if we get in, we get in, and if we don't, we don't. We don't. <laughs> I really we can look wistfully and think. Spin, that yeah. should be me <laughs> right guys we are just getting ready to go hopefully to the vanderbilt vanderbilt and we're gonna have a good time <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm manifesting it's gonna be a good time 
So basically what happened was I was an absolute idiot and I booked for the Wednesday before we went. It was really confusing on the website, I don't really know how I did it, um, but you just paid an extra, I think $20 or something and that we were able to change the tickets which was good because honestly this was my favourite thing that I did in the whole of New York. If I could recommend anything to anyone it would be this and specifically because we went at sunset so if you are thinking of going I obviously went in February and I checked when the sun would normally set so I saw that it set at 5 around 5 so I booked for the 5 o'clock slot which meant we got the daytime sun and then we got the sunset and then we got night so it was like the perfect time so honestly I would highly highly recommend you check out sunrise sunset all those sorts of things if you want to go and honestly it was absolutely amazing i cannot recommend it enough it was gorgeous it was beautiful better than the empire state building that we went in last time because you could actually see the empire state building and get like that full view of everything time lapse is set up but look how gorgeous it is along here absolutely amazing. this is incredible the sun is setting so we're getting a little bit of everything we're getting it with the daylight the sun's setting now when it's dark you've seen look over there you've got central park you've got all the cars down here And it just keeps getting better and better. Look, that's the flipping horizon of the building. Look at all of this. Oh my word, we're in level two. The last step is you come outside. It's a bit windy, but it's so gorgeous. Okay, the last step of the day and of the activities is we're going on the glass elevator over here. Okay, we've just done the one Vanderbilt and it was so good. Literally, I can highly recommend, even though it was so expensive, it was so worth it. And I think we're gonna go to Grand Central Terminal now um, and just see it. Because we last time we came and it was a really not the most pleasant atmosphere because we were running for a train or something, can't really remember. So we're gonna go there. Yeah, I know when I... it was, we had to catch that last train. Yeah, it was quite stressful. Wow, oh my word. This is so cool. What films? I feel like this is in loads of films. films. Absolutely. I can't remember what films, but it's so cool. Why is it so pretty? Why does King's Cross and like London Bridge not look like this? Look, you can catch a train to Bankers is cool. Some Bankers is cool. Now one of them, Paddington maybe. What's the one that's had a big overhaul? Maybe it's Paddington. Really? One of them's had a big overhaul. You want to go to Fordham? Or Melrose? Look at that. I would like to catch a train in America and just see what it's just like. You know what I mean? And, you know. Let's go to... What's the like, longest train you can go to? Poughkeepsie. Isn't that the one they're getting in Friends? Ross forgets and sleeps through to Poughkeepsie. I don't know. I swear. What? In I think we're going to stop off in some shops along here. I then went shopping, didn't I? Can't help myself. And I picked up a lot of clothes. No, I did. However, didn't buy anything. Didn't buy a single sausage because everything was cute, but like it just didn't hit the mark. Do you know what I mean? You know, it's like, it's cute, but there's something weird about it. You know, it was one of those situations. We can tick off shopping, and now we're ticking off going to Bryant Square Park, but I'm not gonna lie. It's not what we thought. Was. It's not what we thought, but there's like a cute little winter village, and we have picked up some Chick fil A, but we are pooped now, so we're gonna take it back to the hotel. We've got it here, and we've got a little lemonade, which is really good. Um, sounds like it's popping off at Bryant Square Park, to be honest with me. It's just good, the music really loud. Yeah, the music is pumping. Anyway, let's go back to the hotel and debrief on the day. So we're back at the hotel and you best believe I put the comfies on. Um, so we got Chick-fil-A and there I was thinking about the one time back in Florida, what, 
10 years ago I had some waffle fries at Chick-fil-A and it was probably a spiritual encounter that I had there. Um, so I ordered some waffle fries with my dinner. And of course, they have not been, am I just, I don't know what happens every time I order, they forget something. Yeah, I need to start checking because obviously that happened with the bagel as well. Um, but we've got a lovely little fruit salad and I haven't had any vegetables in about four days. So I got this like chicken, basically a chicken nugget salad, which is a bit of me. And then we've got these crisp red bell peppers, I guess I add on top. And this avocado, I don't know why I said it like that, avocado lime ranch dressing, which looks really good. But what I haven't got <laughs> is waffle fries. I'm just like triple checking. There's definitely no waffle fries. And definitely not in your bag? No. There's some way cracker things. I'm so, I'm actually crushed. As much as I was disappointed by the fact that I did not get any lattice fries. Or what do you call them? Crisscross, hashtag fries, what do you call them? Waffle fries, that salad hit the spot so much. And I had a good time. And I'm gonna have my little fruit pot. Yay. That is the end of the vlog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you on Monday for another vlog. Um, I have a lot of New York content, so I've got to get it all out, you know what I mean? I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all for your recommendations. If you want to be part of these types of videos, don't forget to follow my Insta so you can interact. Yeah? All right? And if you want, if you thought, hey, you know what? I kind of enjoyed that video. You can subscribe. I never normally ask, but because I don't think anyone would subscribe. But you can if you want to. I'm not pressing you, it's your choice entirely. But I love you all loads. Bye.